Hey guys, welcome to the channel today. Um, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making a uh, hitch mount, hitch mount plate for the Tacoma. Now what I did here was I'm going to be using this hitch off of the, uh, the TRD that I scrapped out. This was on there. So this will actually be cut down, modified, brackets put on it for a front mount hitch. And this will go onto the bumper that I have built onto the back of the flatbed. So what I did was just stuck the tube in there, bottomed it out, and seen where I had both of my holes, and went with the shallowest one. So I gotta wait till tomorrow till I can drill that hole. But what I'm gonna do is get all my other get all of my other uh, holes marked up, drilled out. The reason I gotta wait, my neighbor barred my 5 8 inch bit. I don't have another. Well, he barred it and burned it up. So, anyhow, we will get back to the 5 8 inch hole, but we can do the rest of the holes on this thing for, for now. Um, I bought this winch, brand new, still in the box off of a friend of mine. Um, ended up coming with two fair leads. I'm gonna end up getting the, the remote control box for this winch. Um, just think it much easier going like that than a corded and I will definitely keep the uh, well here's the cord I will definitely keep this as a backup what I'm gonna end up doing is actually throwing this into the car now because hey it's always good to have a rudimentary backup in case your battery in your uh, let's say the battery in the remote goes dead hey it's always better to have have a backup now, I still need to get a bag, and I'm going to put a bag over there with a chain in, but this is going to be my basic loadout. I have a really, really basic toolkit here that I put together, just just extras and stuff. Uh, uh, oh, jeez. This is actually a mooring line for a, tr a ship. This thing will never break. I have used that thing to rip trees out of the ground using a dually. But, anyhow... Um, hey, I'm going to get back at it and uh, get these things marked up and get some holes drilled. And uh, we might even run a bead on it today yet. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But, hey, guys, stay tuned. All right, guys. So, the bottom of this winch, it doesn't give me the ability to actually, like, if you, get from the, you can't get in from the top at all. There's nowhere. All it is is that little tiny hole. Can you see that? Let me see. That little tiny hole. So, what we're going to do is we're going to use this fluorescent pink. I'm going to spray a couple uh, spots of pink on there. And what I'm going to do is have Cody pick it up and put it down perfectly centered and all that happy jazz. And then I will transfer this mark onto the steel. So, wish us good luck, huh? All you gotta do is get it on the center there, dude. There we go. Oh, by the way, this is the instruction manual because nobody reads them things anyhow. Oh, I don't think you did a good job, kid. Oh, man, he didn't do a good job. All right, hopefully we got some marks. We're gonna pick this up here in a minute and we're gonna find out. So, we had another go at this, but what I did was when we picked it up, I wiped the paint off of the bottom of there. And Cody said, oh, Dad, there was your perfect marks, which he's absolutely right. So we're going to try this way one more time, and if we don't get it, that's what we're going to do. So get at her, kid. It's too heavy for me. I'm old. Get it right. Get it right. Get it perfect. Uh, I don't know if it's perfect by any means, but hopefully it works. Let's find out. We're going to let her sit there for a minute. All right, so we're back at her. What do you think, kid? Is it gonna work? Yeah. Is it gonna work? All right, let's go. Uh, I don't think it worked. Let me get a piece of paper. So, oh, I think you moved it when you put it down. Look, it's way off, dude, kid. Oh, oh man. 
my goodness. <clears throat> I think it'll work for them. It might. We're gonna find out here in a few minutes. We're gonna let her sit. All right, guys, round three. I think Cody figured it out for us. Go ahead, kid, pick her up. Oh, I think that'll work. That'll work. Yeah. So what we'll do is I'll get this where I need it to be, squared up, centered up, and I'll just make my mark, uh, use a punch, and get my mark for my holes to be drilled. Drill out the holes, cut the underside of here, cut my two by down, weld it up, bolt it on, and wait for the five eighths, and we will be good to go. Hey Cody, grab me a piece of tape. Piece of tape? Yeah. Uh, where is it? Um, I don't know. She's pretty good. Relatively good. Oh my goodness. I really do think she's about good where she was. Yeah, if you want, I have a cab right now. Huh? If you want me to make a sign that says JPM Tech out wood or whatever, I can do it after my stuff is done. For my grade, I'm making a wooden sign. I've had to come up with a wooden sign. Using CAD? Yeah. Oh. You just have to figure it all out when you have a CNC router and it does whatever you select and make. I gotcha. But we have to square and do everything else, sand it. I'm making George a sign that says um, GM House Auto Sales. You have that one more. Which one? That one. This one? Yeah, I don't know. I think she's pretty close to centered. Alright, there's our marks. <clears throat> so, we got our four marks transferred onto our steel. Let's see that. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Drill some holes. This is kind of crap. So we got the plate all bolted up. These are nice and tightened down. And I made this mark here. So what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to leave the front of that plate on. And I'm only going to cut out the back. And what I'll do is round this edge off here. So that when it sits down nice and flat, I can weld along. 
Hold on a second. That way I'll be able to weld the whole way down, through, across there, up around, over, down, across, and back through. So I just think that's going to end up being a little bit uh, stronger. And uh, I think I got a good length on here. I want to keep it out a little bit because I haven't exactly 100% figured out what I'm going to do with the, the um, front bumper. But I am going to be building a bumper for it sooner or later. And I want to make sure that I have enough length to get out in front of it using that. So, for tonight, I think I'm going to quit messing around with it. And uh, I might venture back into it a little bit later. I'm going to spend some time with Cody. Hang out, relax, and uh, I don't know. Possibility I'll get back at this tonight. And uh, if I do, we should have a finished product for you by tomorrow and a video uploaded. So, hey guys, uh... Oh, have a good evening. I'm going to. All right, guys, so we got it all clamped down nice and sturdy. I'm just going to use a little bit of multi-purpose lubricant. That's something I had laying around for drilling this hole. And, uh, I don't know. I just wanted to, I got to make sure this stays nice and straight because that bolt, that, uh, yeah. The piece that goes through here to lock this into the uh, hitch receiver that's got to sit in pretty square, so that's why I went ahead and, uh, you know, clamped it down and everything like that. So let's get after it. Alright guys, so what I did was use my square, transferred my marks here to over there. So this will all get cut out down to the steel plate so that this can so that this can slide in there like so and get all welded up. So what I'm going to end up doing, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to transfer these marks here to the inside so that when I do put my 2 by in, <clears throat> I know that it's nice and square and it's not off at all before I start welding. So I'm going to get that done and uh, get this cut out and we'll go from there. It might be a little while because it is, uh, it's feeding time and well, Lincoln's been fed, but now it's time to hang out outside for a little while, let him enjoy the outside air. So I'm going to uh, get this stuff transferred, go spend some, some dad time, and I'll get back at this, and we'll pick up on it when I get back.
what I'm deciding to do here is actually put down two passes along the bottom here and then I'll do two passes up the sides too. So, I don't know. You guys probably don't need to watch me weld or anything like that. So, I'll get back to you guys once this is all done. Alright guys, so, I don't know. Something about throwing on a tack makes me want to just weld. So, I didn't change my good jeans and the old lady's probably going to yell at me, but... A little stainer there, but hey, she's all together, so that's a good thing. She's all welded the whole way around, everywhere, looking good. She's still hotter than all get out, so I'm not gonna try to get in there too awful much. Yeah, that's not too bad. Uh, but she is together and solid. So now we just gotta get the uh, hmm. Man, my nose is itchy. Got to get the back hitch on to the back of the Tacoma. And we got to get this front hitch. We got to get brackets made up so that they can bolt onto the front spring or frame perches. And the back hitch mount, bam, right there. You know, I'm actually kind of thinking about it. I don't know the legality of it, but I'm wondering if I cut a hole here and put the hitch there, moved this over, just that little bit of a hair, we'd end up cutting out part of the, I don't know, I have an old, I have an old license plate that was on my S10, which was an awesome truck, by the way, and that, I actually had the bottom end of, there's the license plate from that, they never yelled about that, I don't know. I think I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna put it on the top. That way I got nothing underneath there that's dragging, hanging me up. Only problem I see with it is if I put the hitch into that receiver, it's gonna block part of my uh, license plate. But I don't plan on really driving around with that hitch in the receiver. Hmm. I'm gonna think about it. I'm gonna figure it out. I might, I, I might actually do that. I might put it up top. That way, I'm not hanging down, dragging anything. So, guys, uh, hey, we got that finished up. Now we just gotta get the receivers onto the truck, and we will have oh, and wired up. I'm gonna be putting a second battery back in the toolbox area. That way, I have an auxiliary battery. It'll still be wired into the alternator and everything like that. Um, that way I just have more battery power in the truck for when I'm running that or when I'm running my lights and the truck's not running. So, um, Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. If you ever wonder about making your own hitch mount, this is a pretty good start to one. I think I'm going to end up what I'm going to end up doing here is probably coming off somewhere around in here. That way I can put my fair lead on the front and it'll give me handles on the top there. So that'll be a little bit later on down the road. But hey, this gives you a good basis on what to use. 6x8, number 1, C-channel, 2x2, two two, square tube, uh, that is 3 16th wall. That's going to be plenty enough for what I'm using. If you're going to be on a heavier truck, I would say maybe go up to quarter inch wall. But I don't think it's really needed on the taco, being how that truck only weighs about 4,000 pounds. So, hey, guys, um, I hope you like the content. And uh, I'm going to be getting back to doing more videos now that my son Lincoln is born. And, uh, hey, I hope, I don't know. I just hope you guys enjoy the videos. Uh, thanks for the subscription. If you do enjoy the video, hit that like button. Uh, throw up a comment, you know. Hey, tell me how you think I did. Uh, so, I don't know. Hey, have a good one, guys. Hope you enjoyed it.